So in this video, we're going to talk about electric fields. Now, electric fields are a region of space where a charged up, a charged object, so something that has a positive or negative charge, will experience an electric force. Now, what can create electric fields? Well, it's unsurprising that it's also other charged objects that creates an electric field. And so, essentially, there are two types of charges, and I'm sure we are aware of this, positive and negative charges. So positive charges creates an electric field that goes radially outwards from it, whereas negative charges create electric fields that go radially inwards towards it. And so let's understand the basic, or let's revise the basic concepts of field theory. So first of all, the density of the lines is indicative of the field strength. So for example, if I took a, a little portion over here, the lines are generally closer to each other than if I were to look, let's say, over here. And so I expect the field strength to be, of course, stronger in this region compared to the other region. And uh, the other rule that is uh, very important is that the lines cannot cross. Okay, remember that it is not possible for your field lines to do something like that. Ah, this is not going to happen. Never. So what else do we need to know about electric field lines? Okay, so if... I have an electric field line and I placed a positive charge over there. So let's do this. This is a positive charge. Then it would experience an electric force in the same direction as the electric field line. Okay. Whereas if I were to place a negative charge in some point, the electric force would be opposite to the direction of the electric field line. Now, in the situation where you have a curved line, so this can happen, of course, maybe like this. Okay. Uh, yes. Then if I were to place a positive or a negative charge somewhere, so for in this case, let's do a negative charge because they're slightly more complicated, right? The direction of the electric force will be opposite to that of the field line. And if it's a curve, that will be tangent to the curve. And so the force goes like this. Okay, and just one more example. So if I placed a positive charge over here, it would then go tangent again like that. 